Hey guys, how are you today? Um, welcome to the very first Fall Food Friday for 2020. I am joining Fallon over at Moss Family TV for her collab um, for Fall Food Friday. Usually it is in October. This year it got bumped up to September, which hey, bring it. I think we're all ready for autumn. So I am going to be making pumpkin fudge. Fudge is something that I always make at Christmas. I usually make chocolate and peanut butter. So this is a new recipe for me as well. I'm kind of looking forward to it though, because we love all things pumpkin in this house. So I have a feeling it's going to be amazing. And it follows most of my own, my, my recipe that I use for the chocolate and the peanut butter. So it's kind of nice to be familiar with the recipe and just a few little different ingredients added in. So we are going to hop into that. I am having kind of a lighting issue in my kitchen. Um, so in editing, I am hope to lighten it. If not, please forgive me. Next week's will be better. And let's get into that. I'm going to show you the things you're going to need and then we will make it together. One thing I do suggest is using a heavy bottom pot. This is a pot I've always made fudge in for gosh. I want to say ever since I've made it. <laughs> so, yay. Three cups of sugar. I know it sounds like a lot. A pack of white chocolate chips. A stick and a half of butter. A can of pumpkin. You're not going to use the whole can. A can of evaporated milk. Again, you're not going to use that whole can. Um, a container of, of uh, marshmallow cream. And some pumpkin pie spice. All the exact measurements will be down in the description box below. Okay, as you see, I have my stick and a half of butter. I'm going to also add in my three cups of sugar, the evaporated milk, the pumpkin. It's one cup of pumpkin. The evaporated milk is two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon, yes, a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. You could do the individual ones. I like this because it's it's perfectly proportioned, and I use it anytime I'm making anything pumpkin-y. And the rest of your ingredients you do not need until um, this is ready. It is about to start boiling. Um, I do want to tell you that you need to go ahead and line a 9x9 nine nine pan with foil because that is what you are going to put your fudge in to cool. So when I finish this, I'm going to boil this for 5 minutes once it starts. Then I always add um, the vanilla. It will bubble quite a bit. And then I add the uh, marshmallow cream because it takes a little while to kind of mix that all in. And then I will dump in the white chocolate chip. And you will see as I finish all that and pour it into the pan. I will tell you I tasted this just because I wanted to see and it tastes just like a pumpkin pie. So this would be great to serve at a party. This would be great to serve at a, a luncheon, a teacher's luncheon, um, a church gathering. This would be great to have as a um, a <laughs> A place setting at your Thanksgiving table and of course you can decorate it up however you would like um, we're plain and simple here I like it rustic I like it how it comes so yeah but I could definitely see this being passed out at an office party or 
a gathering of any kind. That color is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, I'm gonna get this get this finished and I will show you what it looks like as I'm pouring it in the pan. Tragic love song. 